Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can make API with the post method in Laravel. So for that, first we will make controller function and then router. After that, we'll write code for uh, API. Then we will test our API with the post method. And at last, we'll check data in the database table so that we can be sure like data is getting stored with the API or not. This is the Laravel 11 tutorial playlist and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project and interviews. So you can access this playlist from description box of this part. So first, let's create a function in controller and router. So let me open the controller there, HTTP student controller. And there we are adding the new student because post method we basically use to insert or store the data. So here we will store or add uh, some new students in our database table. And as we know, there we will use Laravel database and students table. All right. So there let's create one more function add student. And for a moment, just write there add student called or something okay so uh, after that let's go to the routes api.php and then let's create one more route route and the route uh, method will be post because there we are making api with the post method then uh, route name we can mention there add students all right and uh, after that, student controller colon colon class, and there we will simply write a method name, whatever we are declared in the controller, which is add student. Yeah, and now if you want to test this flow, we can test. So click on the Thunder client, create new request, and uh, there. A method should be the post and we have to add the a route there so let me put there localhost this is the route route so after api you have to mention the route whatever you are mentioning there right so that will be the url now if i just click on the send there you can see that a status is 200 everything is fine time size and everything is green and then you can see that this is the response add student code whatever we written there so now what we'll do we'll pass some data from this request to the controller so just go to the body and simply put their name that will be uh, let's say happy is a name then maybe we can say that uh, email can be happy at the rate test.com and last one is we have to add phone number so phone number will be let's say double one double two double three double four or something uh, and there we have to put their semicolon yeah okay so why we are adding these three fields name email and phone number so if you'll check their name email and phone number we have to add id created that date and updated date will be automatically added all right so now the next thing is if we will uh, click on the send nothing is getting changed but data is still sent uh, is actually sent to the controller but how we can get this data the thing is that again go to the controller and we have to use this request class parameter like this all right so after that what we'll simply do there dollar uh, let me just take a student variable and there we'll use new student like this and in the student uh, instance let's add these three things name email and phone number so name will come from the dollar request and then name only after that there is a two more thing which is uh, email and last one is phone number okay so after that we can uh, 
simply test it like this is working or not but there is a one more thing that we need to check if dollar student we have to use save function to save the data if data is getting stored then uh, we can simply use return and there we can use the array there like uh, result and then we can mention new student added or uh, for else condition let's paste it and mention new student not added or something all right so now again go to the uh, new request send and here we can see that new student is added so let's check there is there any new student with the name of happy yeah there it is so if you want to add one more student let's say parker parker and phone number is let's say double two double one clicking on over there this is also getting added if you just refresh it there we go so this is how we can create post api and test it if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section and this is my paytm number for donation and please subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section thanks guys